Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha in the kitchen getting ready to cook up some Saturday breakfast. It's been a while since I've recorded a breakfast channel, uh, a breakfast video, I mean, on my channel. So let's go ahead and get into this breakfast I'm going to be doing this morning. Uh, let me show you guys what I have. Well this morning we're going to be cooking some French toast, uh, bacon, eggs, well bacon uh, and breakfast sausage. Okay, so show you guys I've got this microwavable uh, Hornell bacon quick and easy microwave but I think I might still stick this in the oven though uh, of course we got our uh, eggs back there and we've got the Johnsonville original recipe breakfast sausages I got two packs of these if y'all saw my Publix haul y'all saw I got these three for eleven at Publix great deal three for eleven all right so I got the breakfast sausage I have my white uh, powdered sugar and I have my cinnamon and I have this fresh uh, Publix bread. I think they call this, um, well, yeah, here it is. It is the all butter braided uh, brochet loaf. Um, I did get two of these from Publix. Um, and you guys will see how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this down and I'm gonna use this for my French toast. Look at that, nice buttery braided bread. That's gonna be so good. I'm gonna use it for my French toast. So we have two of those. And that's it guys, quick and easy breakfast. I'm gonna, you guys will see. Uh, you guys will see how I'm gonna go ahead and do it. All right, let's get into this Saturday morning breakfast. Well, I mean, it's any, any day breakfast you want. Let's go. Okay guys, let's go ahead and um, I've got my pan here. I put aluminum foil over my pan, you know, less mess and uh, easy quick cleanup. Um, I have my Johnsonville sausages. I'm going to go ahead, get these open so I can get these in the oven. I've got my oven set at 350 degrees. Doesn't take much to cook these sausages. I think I like the, I like these better than I like the frozen one. Just have more of a, a better taste. Hold on y'all, let me get some scissors to get this open. Okay. You guys can see. Yeah, I like these better. They taste better too. Don't get me wrong, y'all know I'll get the frozen ones in a minute. But I like these better. The ones that you gotta cook. You ain't gotta do nothing to the Johnsonville. You ain't gotta season them up or nothing. Just pan them up. I like the fact that Publix had these on sale, three for eleven. I thought that was a really good deal. Y'all know me. I make my money stretch. We gotta do that. So, yeah, I was thinking, I'm like, I haven't cooked breakfast. Of course y'all know I've been cooking breakfast on Saturdays, but I'm like, I haven't even been recording. A, I haven't recorded a breakfast uh, video in a while. So, I said, let me cook breakfast for the people. All right, get this other pack open. Hey, how y'all doing out there? I hope all is well with you and family. And let me remind you guys, go into the description box and um, you'll see that link to my second channel. Uh, actually, it's my first channel. It's my spiritual channel. This is my second channel. Um, but yeah, you guys will find that link to my uh, spiritual channel in the description box. Make sure you guys go over there and check it out for me and subscribe show me some some love and support over there as well yep that's the oven it's already ready already preheated okay let me finish i'm gonna have to squeeze this other one on here somewhere let me see how i'm gonna get it squeezed in here okay okay everybody move over I don't know how I'm gonna squeeze this in here, but we gotta make it work. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay. Got our sausages all panned up. 
And yeah, I think the other side. Mm. All right. So we got our sausages all panned up. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven, 350 degrees. Uh, these take, they don't really take that long, though, uh, for them to be, you know, raw sausage. I think they take about maybe 15 minutes. Uh, mine might take about 20 because y'all know I like to have that brown crust across the top of these. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the oven. Let me wash my hands real quick. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to get this sausage in the oven. And I think yeah, we'll go ahead. I think I might move on to the bacon. I don't know if I'm going to microwave that or put that in the oven. I think I might just throw it in the oven too. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's move on to our bacon. And as you guys can see, like I said, it is the uh, microwavable bacon, but I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm not going to microwave it. Because one thing I noticed when I microwave it, it shrinks. Yeah, no. Bacon already shrinks enough, so I'm not trying to help it. So, and they give you three packs. And it's about, let me see. It's, it's really nice how they do it, though. It's about four pieces in a pack. And they give you three. Three packs of the four. No, actually, it looks like they give, hold on a second. One, two, three. Three. Oh, they give you four. That's a lot of bacon. Okay. Uh, and there's four on each one. And uh, you just stick this pack in the microwave. Just stick the whole pack in the microwave. I think it's for like two minutes, like a minute. And then I guess, you know, this pack is like, it ventilates it. I haven't cooked these in a while. But anyway, so when you put it in the microwave, it ventilates. It's got like this little secret pockets in there. And it cooks it in the microwave. And it gets it all, you know, I mean, but... I don't know. I'd rather put my bacon in the oven. Tastes a little. I'd rather put it in the oven. That's all I got to say. So, I'm going to take the bacon out of here. And I'm going to put it in the oven with my sausage. Yeah, Publix has these on sale. Uh, buy one, get one. So, you definitely got to get it when it comes down to that bacon. Y'all know how expensive everything is. Especially the bacon. Bacon used to be like seven or six, six or seven dollars. My bacon is like ten, eleven, twelve dollars for bacon. Everything going up but the salary. So, all right, let me get into this bacon. And like I said, I'm just gonna throw it across, pan it up like this. Just gonna run it across the top of my pan like this. So that way we have sausage and bacon. Cause sometimes I want bacon and sausage, you know? Sometimes I don't want just bacon. Sometimes I want both, you know, sometimes the girls, they want sausage and bacon too, so. All right, so let's get our bacon lined up. Okay, get my other bacon out of here. Just throw this across. Quick and easy. And uh, this bacon shouldn't take long. In the oven, shouldn't take long. Get my bacon in my pan. Get this bacon all nicely panned up. I'm telling you, I woke up this morning craving French toast. I think that's probably because I knew I was going to be cooking it anyway. So, that's probably why. But let me make sure this bacon is in this pan so when them juices start to drip. Alright. So, well, let's get this bacon panned up. And like I said, it's some pretty good bacon. But, I don't like putting it in the microwave. So, I usually just take them out put them on a pan and put them in the oven. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do it all yet. Usually I like to uh, cook extra, that way the girls have leftovers for the next day, you know? All right, scoot over bacon, everybody got a fit. Okay. Up like that. 
I can fit a couple more pieces on here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the bacon on here. Let me wash my hands real quick before I touch my camera. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this bacon tray up. I'm going to get hurry up and get in the oven with the sausage so they can be cooking. Everybody can be cooking together. And then we're going to come back to this French toast. I got to get my bread sliced. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys. We've got our breakfast sausages in the oven. We've got the bacon in the oven. Let's move on to our bread. Uh, like I said, this is, you know, fresh bread out of the Publix Bakery. Uh, I wanted to do my French toast different this morning. Um, I told the lady at the bakery that I was making French toast. I wanted to make French toast and she suggested this bread. Um, you know, because it's thick and it won't fall apart when I put the eggs on it. And she also suggested that I put it in the refrigerator in the, uh, refrigerator, so it can be nice and cool. You know, like get cold so it stiffens up so when I put the eggs on it, it doesn't, you know, get all loose and mushy. So, I appreciate her suggesting that. Um, let me go ahead and get this bread open. Go ahead and get my bread sliced. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. That's gonna be some good French toast right there. So let me get this peeled. And I gotta see how thick I wanna slice these. Alright. Okay, get that on my cutting board. Got my cutting board all nice and clean. Got my knife ready. Let's see how thick I want to make these. Mm. That's the end. I'll use the end. I ain't throwing my bread away. I'm going to use my end bread. Yes. Going to use it. Nobody got no food to be throwing away. But yeah. It's all right. That'll be a nice thick piece. Uh, let me see because I do want it to be thick so I think I'm gonna go ah yeah I'm gonna do it this thick and I got my smooth knife so when I cut everything's all nice and smooth yeah that's nice and that's thick enough because we want you know it to be able to hold the eggs we don't want it to fall apart but we do want thick French toast yeah that's thick enough perfect nice and smooth oh my goodness fresh bread for french toast oh that gets no better that sounds so good all right my pieces are getting a little thicker here i gotta be careful this bread boy See if I can get two slices out of this. All right, cool. And I've got two. I've got another bread over here, so I'm gonna cut it the same way. Turned out pretty nice. Slices turned out pretty nice there. Those are nice for French toast. And this bread smells so fresh, so amazing. Oh my goodness, so good. This is gonna be good, you guys. This is gonna be good. Look at our bread nice and all sliced this is gonna be good so i'm gonna go ahead uh slice this other bread up y'all don't need to see me slice the other i'm gonna slice it the same way so i'm gonna go ahead and get the bread all sliced up and then i'll be back to show you guys um basically what i'm gonna do i have this bowl i'm gonna put my eggs in the bowl and some cinnamon in the bowl and then of course i'm gonna drop some of my bread in here in the bowl and i'll put my top on and I'm just gonna shake it up. And the only reason why I'm, I use a bowl for it is because I wanna make sure the entire bread gets coated with eggs. You know, and not just the bread side. I want the entire bread, you know, the sides, all that, uh, to get coated with eggs. And the cinnamon too, because you guys know sometimes that cinnamon can float to the top. So, no, I wanna make sure it gets covered in egg and cinnamon. And our white powdered sugar, we put that on last to make it pretty. So that's what i'm gonna do you guys will see when i come back i will be uh dropping the eggs in the frying pan that's over there waiting to be used all right guys i will be back okay guys i wanted to come and show you guys the sausage and bacon is out of the oven zoom in on that bacon over here we've got over here we've got the extra crispy and over here we've just got the you know the medium 
some of the girls like their bacon extra crispy some of the girls like their bacon you know kind of crispy but not too crispy so y'all know how that is with the kids so you know i try to cater to the kids y'all know what i mean i like both it don't really matter to me all right and over here to our sausages take them into those sausages oh they look so good got them nice and brown don't want to make them too brown that i make them too chewy you know so they cook just right just right on both sides flip them over that's how the bacon and sausage is looking you guys so now the uh last part of this video will be me showing you guys me um cooking the french toast so because i wanted to make sure i left time in this video to focus on the french toast as well but you know gotta have your bacon and sausage something with the french toast all right y'all let's get the french toast okay guys as you can see i got my bread all sliced up um, I've got some bread in here. I've got some, of course, I got my eggs. I put a little salt so we can get a little sweet, salty kind of taste. Um, got my bread in there. I think in this pan I could probably fit about two. So, got them in there. Put my lid on. I'm just gonna toss it around like that so my bread gets coated real good. We don't want to make it soggy, so it's just something you do real quick. And as you guys can see, my egg, my bread is nice and coated with eggs and you can kind of switch it around if you want but that should be good we don't want to make it too soggy so i've got my stove on let's go over to our stove here go over here our pan and you guys can see i'm going to be using my pam spray get you guys in there real good let's get our french toast down Make sure I get this in when coated really good. I'm gonna put this side down. Yep. Okay. All right, and you guys are gonna see this is gonna be quick and easy. Got my spatula over here already, already. And of course my pan is a non-stick pan that definitely helps with you know cooking your french toast okay you guys can see good take y'all in a little bit more take y'all in a little bit more and if y'all hear that is my cat you know she's always making her strange noises oh hold on let me back you guys up a little bit Alright, let's see how we doing. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. I eh, could have let it stay a little bit a little bit longer, but I'll flip it back over. Let me get my pan sprayed. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use butter or the spray, so I went with the spray. Because it's easier for me. I mean this is a non-stick pan, but it's easier for me, you know? Easier for you to Get your bread all cooked up so all right and as y'all can see i'm not gonna see here and have y'all watch it but i think i'm gonna let y'all see me cook this first batch first batch let me cut my heat down i got on a low medium heat you don't need high heat to cook you know the french toast get it flipped over oh yeah Oh, that's looking real good. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's looking real good. I probably could have threw a third one in there, but ooh, you guys see? Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good when I put that cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle that cinnamon and that white powdered sugar on it. Y'all will see, I'm, a, I'm gonna let y'all see when I do that. So, all right, let me get everything cooked up, guys. I gotta move fast. Okay guys, we're back for the grand finale. I've got all my French toast done. I've got a lot of French toast over here. I just wanted to come and show you guys the last part, the grand finale. You saw the sausage and the bacon. Sausage and bacon, looking good. All right, we got our French toast all done. So I've got one layer of French toast down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, sprinkle the cinnamon on them. This is how I do it. Sometimes I put it in the mix, but most of the time the cinnamon rises to the top. I don't like that. So I like putting my cinnamon and uh, powdered sugar on at the end. All right, and I take a fork. This powdered sugar can get a little messy, so just 
Just gonna sprinkle it like that, nothing fancy. Just drop it on there like that. And I use a fork so that the um, powdered sugar can uh, kind of shift between the little holes in the fork, you know? Cinnamon, sugar. Make sure everybody gets some powdered sugar. I'm telling you, I be getting this powdered sugar everywhere. All right, so we got that. Let's put our second layer of French toast down. And I just got through cooking this French toast, so it is a little hot. All right. All right, got this layer down. And the ends turned out really nice, too. All right, so we're going in with our cinnamon again. Cinnamon, make sure everybody get a nice layer of cinnamon on them. Sprinkle our powdered sugar on them. I think I got some powdered sugar on the floor. Oh well. I'm telling you, I've been making a mess with this powdered sugar. All right. Okay. All right. That's cute. All right. Good. So that looks good. And let's just put our final three pieces on there. And this side's cute. All right. So put some cinnamon on those three. Some powdered sugar. Yada, yada, yada. Ooh, that's a nice blob. Oh well, looks good. It'll look good for the picture. Alright. And that is it. I gotta clean this table up. Okay. Alright. Y'all hold on because y'all know I can't stand messes. Alright, hold on. Let me get my table cleaned off. Get the table cleaned off. Okay. So we can have a nice uh, presentation here. I'm going to take y'all in to that French toast real good so you guys can see how delicious that looks. And y'all already saw the sausage and the bacon over there looking good as well. Oh yeah, we ready to eat. Alright y'all, y'all seen me do it so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, go into the description box and click on that link to my first channel, my spiritual channel over there, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.